Good evening all. Uh, welcome to another ICC Banter Blitz. Okay, uh, we've got a couple of challenges here. Uh, J. Russell 2 to start off with. Okay, D4, let's play Knight F6. Right, so it's going to be a, a London system. So I'll, I'll finish it. So this bishop here, I believe, uh, if I have the double finchettos uh, bishops. <clears throat> and um, Okay, I see five. I just realised my opponent's name is not quite quite there. Uh, let me just grab that. Sorry about that. All right, okay, I think I'll play for B5 and B4. Okay, uh, maybe that control of E4 is gonna be handy here, so I'll play this, like E4. Hitting the bishop, so I'm, I'm pressing, I think, to double the pawns. Uh, would he move that bishop back, that London system bishop? Uh, okay, queen here. Looks like I've got an active position at the moment. Maybe I can double the rooks. If I double the rooks here. Okay, can I take on C2? That looks plausible. Right, Queen B4, so he's hitting my bishop. Can I play bishop takes? <clears throat> uh, I think that's probably worth playing. Uh, and then maybe rook C4 and swing the rook by over here. Let's swing the rook over. Or I can play queen b7 hitting f3. Maybe that's that's interesting for a moment as well, just hitting f3. Okay, I can potentially I think double the rooks and um, as well uh, to keep possession of that c file. So it looks like a, a fun position at the moment. Can I push this bishop back with h4? Okay. Uh, I think rook c2. Then try and win f3. If queen d1 though, maybe bishop takes b2 here. Bishop takes b2. Queen d1 holds on to f3. Can I risk doing that? Bishop takes b2. Then maybe bishop f6 looks okay. Bishop f6. Um, let's hit this h4. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, I can 
can take on H1, I believe. Now, if Bishop E3, maybe Queen D7 to H3. Okay, I'll take here first. That's check. check. I'm not yet losing my Queen, if I take that. And I think simpler says just to take the queens off. Take this guy. Now, king f8, there is a check, but maybe king e8. So that seems plausible. You might have gathered I'm on my kind of emergency location tonight. Check. So unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, there was no intro. I'm sorry about that. And uh, I, I tried to uh, adjust the colors. Uh, I really need to get this identical to the other setup, but uh, it's not quite there yet. Uh, the other, on the other hand, the internet connection is very good here compared usually to the other place. So, OK, thanks for the game, uh, J Russell 2. So I've got the pop-ups working anyway on this emergency location, which was quite bad a couple of weeks ago anyway. So trying to get there eventually, trying to get there. Uh, so to see all the challenges, that's pretty handy for this. Okay, so Vienna game. I'll play the Vienna game. Uh, now that's like a King's Gambit uh, declined uh, for the moment. Maybe I can put pressure on e5 here with bishop e5. This pin could be interesting. Uh, it, looks, it looks a little bit on the passive side for black. Uh, I've got to watch out for knight d4. Maybe, maybe I can risk this because sometimes d5 is uh, is the liberating break. But here I think I've got a reasonable lock on the d5 square. Can I bring this bishop back to try and uh, control the d5 square he could win my light square bishop that that's for sure can i swing the queen in in over the king side here so i'm thinking queen g3 and bishop h6 or maybe you know bishop g5 and queen h4 that could be good it would mean knight e8 is more difficult i could take on e7 h6 maybe bishop h6 is tempting but what about then knight e4 but let's see at the moment, 94, 94. So I think it's safe to play this. I'm not losing a pawn, I believe. Uh, well, we'll just, just take on the e7. So I think this is okay up to this point. But h6 um, is is a possibility. Could I take on h6? I haven't got that pinned pawn here. Uh, can I swing by this, this knight? Maybe knight g3, knight h5. That seems like an interesting attacking plan uh, to go for knight h5 here. Uh, so knight h5 looks fairly um, dangerous, uh, but he, you know, he has got the bishop there here. Um, so I think he looks fairly okay uh, so far. So knight h5 uh, looks looks okay what would be after knight h5 though hmm well, let's see knight h5 can i possibly play uh g4 is that crazy g4 all right okay i'll take here now, will he take that? Because I'll be hitting f7 and h7 here. That's a nice double attack uh, to have. Okay, I think some yeah. cooking with gas here is going on. Oh, I got f6. I think I'm cooking with gas in this position uh, as an expression. f6 would threaten uh, to checkmate. Now, if g takes, then there's queen h7 checkmate. Um, by the way, hi on stream. I just want to check my audio level as well. That's not mucked up from anything. Okay, so I just want to say hi on stream. 
I uh, hope uh, everything's okay at the moment. Uh, so Queen G6 threatens uh, mate here. Um, so, oh, there's Queen H5, fortunately, because he's blocked in his king. Thanks for the game. Uh, Bazaroff. Hi, Bazaroff. Uh, sometimes those escape squares you can get, sometimes you can be lucky enough for the opponent's pieces to cover the escape uh, squares. Let's try a Nimzo Indian defense here. So Bishop B4, C5. This looks, I don't usually play the Nimzo Indian that much, but it's a solid and reliable uh, opening. Karpov used to love playing the Nimzo Indian in many World Championship matches against Kasparov. Uh, so the Nimzo engine with c5, the queen c2 is one of the popular approaches. Now white often takes here, I, I believe some of the ideas include a fast d file control with bishop f4 and, and rook d1. Uh, maybe I can play knight a6 to gather this pawn, I don't have to move the bishop twice, although it might not be a big deal. Okay, I'm wondering here if I can just play d5 and then knight c6 it seems like logical moves um, to put pressure on this d4 square it seems a little bit abandoned by queen c2 so if I can put more pressure on d4 here that might be interesting uh, so knight c6 and cd after one risk white sometimes takes in these positions is well, when I say risk, uh, the isolated queen's pawn can be an issue sometimes. Uh, okay, uh, I think I'll take here because I think otherwise I'm risking d takes. Right. Uh, so this is this is an interesting position. So white's got that bishop pair. Can I do this and then b6 for bishop b7? I'm trying to get some light square play going on and maybe a quick C file pressure. So Bishop B7, Rook C8, Knight A5, that sort of thing. Let's see, so Bishop B7, Rook C8, Knight A5. Knight a5 so it would hit that bishop. If bishop d3, maybe uh, cd and then rook c8 later. Also there's a possibility of bishop takes f3 dam damaging the pawns. For the moment I've got to factor in this. I think I'll go here actually to get away from this x-ray attack on the queen. Uh, so maybe something like rook c8, knight a5, bishop moves, maybe could even consider c4 though it releases the tension in the position. If I move the bishop back, maybe then knight b3. It's a bit committal to release the tension. I think I'd rather try and weaken these light squares, somehow get this bishop off maybe one day. But weaken and occupy and keep this bishop hemmed in is often a strategic goal. Here I haven't even stopped. I'm not sure I'm stopping e4 here. Uh, although maybe, okay, maybe there's an issue with e4. Let's just pile up on this c file a bit. Okay, uh, I'm tempted to play cd now for knight a5. This looks as though there's some issue here tactically with that bishop and that pawn on c3. Uh, so even though white's got the bishop parry, I think he's suffering a little bit here because of queen takes um, c3. Um, let's see, queen takes c3. I think I should be able to take that. Uh, okay, let's see what happen, happens here. I'm just wondering, is, is the blue square, are the blue squares uh, Okay tonight. So I was I was fiddling right before. <laughs> I just I'm just curious. I'm actually just curious. I hope they're okay. Um, 
I'll take on d4 here. I I believe I'll take on d4. That is check. And this is anything check. better. <clears throat> uh, so queen h4, maybe knight h5 to g3. Uh, or rook d8. Okay, can I take that on e4 for a moment? This looks to be a very pleasant position so far. Um, okay, so let's see knight b3 uh, or knight c4, rook c2 for knight b3. Uh, okay, so um, on that knight b3, or doubling the rooks on the on the second rank here on my relatives my seventh or my opponent's second, so rook e2 and rook c2. Okay, so if I double the rooks. Mind you, my back row, I don't want to be back row mated. So let's try and avoid being back row mated. Let's try and play h6, try and avoid. Mind you, there was a free bishop there. <laughs> there was a free bishop there. Yeah. Okay, I've, I've let him off. The free bishop. I've let him off. He's giving me a second bite of the cherry. I'm, I'm definitely going to take the bishop now. I got carried away with my, my king safety. Thanks for the game, uh, there. Um. Uh, Chamax, um, hi Chamax. Uh, let's play knight c6. <clears throat> okay, so this is a kind of um, classical transposition. Uh, so knight c6, knight f6, classical transposition. Can I play for d6 and bishop g4 later? It's pretty classic stuff. Maybe a bit on the stodgy side with yeah. knight c3. That might help my central control taking there. Although my my d my c6 is on the fire. I'm wondering that knight there. Can I venture knight g4 and then for queen f6? Okay, if I take here, I I think I can just castle. Now maybe bishop g5, I played d5 for bishop e7. Okay, okay, I'll I'll go for that. That looks like a, a pawn target in this position. I, I don't think I, I should be too displeased uh, with this. I can try and lock down that pawn. So queen e7 uh, or queen d6, I'll try and lock down. Can I try and lock down against g5 actually? Maybe knight e4 on h4, knight e4, even here just knight e4. So I think this is comfortable. Um, f6, let's see what happens after f6. That could be an issue. So let's say knight takes e4, rook takes. Okay, so f6, g5. Um, uh, or queen d6, maybe queen d6, and then double the rooks. I'm wondering f6, um, how dangerous is that? Maybe I should, okay, can I lock down on that? Because I'm a bit concerned, any h4, g5, there's probably going to be rook h4 here. Okay, I can take the queen, the queen's off. And try and just play for maybe d4 in this position. If I play for d4 um, or c5, d4 or c5, this this looks very fairly standard looking play, I think, against his pawn. But I have an idea that he's going to collect that pawn with a king coming into the center. So. Ah, oh, he's giving me another one though. Oh, I think that's a bit that's a bit naughty. Give me another one there, and another one bites the dust. 
another one bites the dust as Queen would say hmm yeah I think uh, that that looks very promising for me grabbing these pawns I'm not usually a pawn grabber but um, I'm obliging here uh, uh, pawns can become more valuable towards the end game I'm told sometimes or told off as I lose all my pawns generally in many of my blitz games so uh, let's see <clears throat> um okay I can just grab more and more pawns here uh <laughs> well or yeah these these guys I haven't I haven't taken yet so I, I think I'll try and take these guys I've got double pawns to take here I'm not too too concerned about them uh they are doubled uh that's a bit of discrimination not to look after them but uh okay I uh, I think I've got enough pawns by this stage okay uh, <laughs> I'll get rid of my opponent's pawn there okay and try and hold on to d4 now there are some issues to resolve here uh, like my king how to activate the king without getting mated Rook c1 to h1. If I go to h6, that'll be funny. A checkmate. Uh, okay, I think I might have time to activate here. Famous last words. Okay, I think. <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid getting mated here. That's that's one concern I have. Um. Okay, let's go with g3. Okay, now he's not mating me with rook h1 yet. Can I just stop that anyway? And tie down that rook actually. Now there's rook a2. And then king g5. Uh, yeah, activating the king here. King f4 to f3 looks fairly convincing. Okay, so king d5, king f4. So if king takes king f3, I, I think it looks good so far. So for king f2. Okay, here. Now g1 looks looks pretty convincing. Now he's going. Is he going for my last? He's going for my last pawns. Okay, I'm going to get the king back. I'm going to greedily hold on to g7 here and try and get the king back. Okay. Okay, thanks for the game uh, there. Now, Grand Panzer is not, not so bad, actually. I uh, have to tread carefully with him. Uh, very carefully. <laughs> I'm playing a London system out of fear for my opponent's resourcefulness. <clears throat> so none of this hack attack stuff in this game until later at least. A until he castles. Okay, now he's castled. Let's castle opposite sides. Okay. Here we go. Should be a fun game from a London system. Opposite side castling. Although, how do I actually open up the lines here? This, this is the intriguing thing. A pawn sack. It's the middle game. I'm going to open up this H file. Okay. I might be losing the exchange. Uh, did I mean to lose the exchange? Not really. I didn't mean to lose the exchange. Uh, does it matter about losing the exchange? That's the other question. Ah, oh, who cares? Okay. I've got the H file. That's what I wanted. <clears throat> okay. Now. Let me stop knight g3. Oh, 
I can play E4 maybe and E5 on my just crumbling if I did that. Bishop E2. What about Bishop E2 for a moment? Try and get that knight to go back. He's pretty solid at the moment. Bishop G1 for Queen H2. <coughs> Bishop g1 for queen h2. I'm not actually threatening anything. Am I? Hmm. That looks a little bit awkward though. Um. It does seem solid in some respects. I have to say, unfortunately, it seems pretty solid. And this is going to be uh, intriguing. How do I get something from this? That's curious. Hmm. With these knights holding each other, it's quite a slender configuration. Bishop f3. Okay, hold on to this for a moment. Maybe he's going to play for d5. That's sort of a centralizing move. Knight c6 might be handy in the future. Hmm, it's coming to attack me. <clears throat> Alright, if I took him then knight e6 and then rook g6. I'll try and bash this pawn chain. King h7, knight e6 after. Oh he's not he's not taking that. He's trying to attack me. He's giving back the exchange. I'll play knight f8. A b a b rook a a queen b2. Well, if I'm too slow, there's knight b3 with tempo on the queen. Well, there's a check there on f5. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, I get my exchange back. Possibly f5, I've got bishop d6. Possibly this is a good idea. It stops queen f5 in some lines. Give me bishop d6. I will Check. take that and then a b. On rook a, a queen b2. Now there's no immediate issue with. Um, Queen f five. There is an issue with Bishop e three, but if his king's on g seven, I'll have a knight discovered check somewhere. Knight c six would win the queen. So let's have a look at this. King g seven, queen b two. Takes. Okay, he's going to the center. The center, right. Maybe it's safer if I just take on g6. That friend queen f7, it seems pretty quick. I'll go with this. Friending queen f7, queen e7. So if he takes... Check. I don't think I should mind that too much. Bishop e3 does rook e1. Rook c4. Rook c4. King b3. Rook c3, king b4. Right, this pin looks... Unfortunate. He's got King D seven. Rookie three. King D six. Oh, I'm going to be a pawn up. Or not? Well, it's tying down his rook. Can't play Rook C four. Pawn up. After that. Clock advantage. It's okay at the moment. Now, 
Rook f3. C5 is possible here. But then there's king d5. Knight e6, he takes. There's no check or anything. Um, maybe in circumstance, uh, Rook f3, although we seem to be getting a drawish position. Can I do better? Hmm, this looks maybe knight f five check for a moment. Check. Then knight h six, and then rookie eight. Maybe knight h six just to hold the pawn. And I'll be threatening rookie eight, so I don't think he's got time to take on c four without rookie eight. So if he plays uh, knight f six, maybe rook f rook e six. The knight moves, then rookie a after. Now, what if he played king d7 here? Maybe there's check. Uh, king d8. Okay, I still believe knight h6 might be interesting in this position for a moment. Unless there's anything stronger. Actually, maybe the check. Just to hold Check. the pawn two ways, hold the extra pawn tightly two ways. Okay, potentially with knight h6 as well as the rook. Actually, I'm threatening rook a8 check here, winning that rook. I seem to have got the better of him this week, but in other ways, I'm pretty sure he's mashed me. Check. Um, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Let's play the check. Okay. All right, thanks for the game, uh, Grandpa Sir. Uh, wise Bard, and he's not such a bad sir. He's a very good player. Wise Bard. <clears throat> okay, uh, play e four. <clears throat> he takes. All right, let's see. Knight f3 for g3 and bishop f4, maybe. Knight f3 for g3 and bishop f4. Although this looks as though this could be a tricky with bishop g4. Yeah, I'm not sure I like bishop uh, g4 particularly. Do I have time for h3 here? I'd rather not be pinned in this position. Um okay, let's see. So Knight B five though, it looks as though knight b five is quite dangerous. Queen B four C three Queen A five B four. This looks dangerous. I think I'll go for it. because uh, the Queen's got limited squares here. Surely I'm threatening knight C seven. It could castle Queen side. I'm wondering about C four. For d5. Uh, this looks interesting. d5. If queen e4, knight c3. Okay. Um, so the queen, would, it, would he be getting too much play? On um, say queen g6, d takes, bishop takes, queen b3. Is there too much play? And she's on g2. Maybe if I castle this bishop h3, and this is knight h4 there. Okay, let's take her. Uh, f4 and bishop f3, or yeah, maybe f4 and bishop f3. Mind you, bishop c5 is going to be dangerous. I should cover against bishop c5, I believe. Okay, so maybe bishop d4 is on the way. Uh, bishop d4, bishop f3, maybe queen b3.
Okay, that's interesting. Uh, two pieces for the queen might be a good deal here. I'm kind of, kind of entertained by that possibility. Because uh, I think I've, the bishop on f3 could be good here. So I, I'm going to go for that. Two pieces and a sort of fracture of the pawns. Plus, it looks like an impressive light square bishop for the moment. So. Um, Check. Let's see, bishop d4. Okay. Um, <clears throat> maybe this this b file is handy. Uh, so something like rook b1. Uh, and then let's see. Uh, looks dangerous. Looks dangerous. Rook b6. If c5, there's an option for rook c6. Uh, or maybe, mm, yeah, that's possible. Maybe rook a6. And if it takes check, king d7, take the rook. This pawn's dangerous though. I still think um, rook b6, c5. Rook c6 is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's have a look at this. So c5 uh rook c6. If knight d5 rook a6. Uh I think this is an interesting queen sack here. Uh still Might be mistaken. If it doesn't give that much. Still interesting though. Um, all right, he's on my rook. Okay, if I play the check. Check. And just put this back for a moment. I think rook d1 is. Uh, Probably a little bit dangerous. King e7. The two pieces, yeah, I'm happy so far uh, with the two pieces. Okay. Does he play again rook e6? Yeah. Can I try and lock this for a moment? So the queen's kind of tied down to c5. Uh, maybe rook b1 for b7. Um, I can get two rooks here. Bishop takes, um, rook bishop takes. I think I'll go for the two rook scenario. Check. So rook takes e4. It depends how well the rooks coordinate, Check. I think. How do they uh, how well do they coordinate? Uh, I have them protecting each other soon, I hope. Uh, I can actually play a check. Might as well play a check, check. here. I think. Um, Mind you, okay. I want. I don't want to lose too many pawns. Uh, whatever I do. Um, hmm. All right. I'm going to lose one pawn. I believe I'm going to lose that pawn. I can't see how to avoid losing it. But the the price of the, I'm going to get uh, coordinated uh, rooks. I hope. Soon after Queen takes, okay. get coordinated rooks. Now, this uh, check here, King H2, 
check. All right, so I think they're fairly coordinated with an outside pass pawn. I'll unpin that. I don't think he can afford this endgame scenario with that outside pass pawn. Oh, for a moment now, I thought I've just gone into a pin. Thankfully, it's not yet uh, a killer pin on any rook. Okay, I think it seems fairly stable at the moment. It's the time factor as well. Okay, thanks, thanks for the game, uh, Wise Bard. Okay, let's see. Um, there's no immediate challenge at the moment. So, shall we have a uh, three minute auto pairing? So, an IM. I've been playing around with this pet idea of the knight e5 in recent weeks. And it's been a lot of fun, I've got to say, overall. Knight a4 to b6 could be an idea. Or just knight b6. Okay, can I get a grip on the c5 square? So if I play knight c5, knight d4. Now, maybe king f2 here isn't so bad. And try and use the a file for the rooks. So I'll fix that, I think. I don't want h4 in a hurry. Can I? It's a nice knight on d4, but he's trying to get some nasty counterplay here. <laughs> uh, my knight's holding b3 for a moment, and he's going to hit that next. Can I kick this out before something horrible happens with b3? Right, I want to just grab this pawn, I think. Now, do I take on b6? I won't bother for a moment. <clears throat> Looks comfortable. Bishop g5, rook a7. I've got, I think I've got the positional trump cards here. Yeah, bishop g5, rook a7. I've got some positional trump cards. Uh, it's pretty major ones at first glance. He's actually resigned. Okay, they were pretty major. Thanks for the game. Oh, Casa 14. A uh, fearless one. Okay, a uh, fearless one. <clears throat> I've got my coffee with. Co I've gone on to coconut uh, cream. Oh, did we play Fearless One earlier? Sorry, it's been mentioned. I don't think we played Fearless One earlier. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Um, now this is, looks like a fairly standard approach, what I'm doing here. So far, I don't think it's too terrible. I'm just a bit worried his play looks pretty standard as well. There's nothing majorly controversial, unfortunately, for me to pick on. Uh, it looks, yeah, it looks dangerous for me so far. Um, pretty standard danger that you get. I'm trying to defend that b7 in advance. Is he going to sack here? Maybe he does. Uh, I hope that's not terminal for my king. Can I play knight g6 and f4? Or just f4 would liberate this bishop. So knight g6 and f4. Maybe b6 just to lock down the queenside pawns. Queen a7, bishop d7 to hold b8. I don't want to lose b8 like in a disastrous way. Uh, so it's good that that's out of the firing line. Um, I think he's definitely playing better than his rating here. This looks very positional and solid play so far. So knight g6, bishop d7 for f4. Am I compromising the light squares too much? 
if I play first knight, I, it's a basic defect. If I play bishop d7, knight g6, f4, I'm giving that e4 uh, square here. Okay, uh, so um, mm, do I risk it? Do I risk e4? Do I risk f4? Don't know, don't know. Mm, uh, I'll play for e4 instead, I think. Trying to open up this bishop against the a1 rook. I'm hoping this is maybe a better approach than f4 in this particular configuration because my bishop seems to be eyeing a1. So d takes, knight takes seems fairly uh, at one level okay. Um, I hope. Okay. Now winning this exchange, usually I'm not too tempted to lose my lovely defensive bishop. Is there a justification here? Maybe there is because of rook f2 after. So knight e1, bishop takes, rook takes, rook f2. This looks as though it might be okay. In fact, that would pin the bishop as well. So I wouldn't be losing e4 in a hurry in that position. Maybe it's a safe exchange here to take after knight e1, bishop takes, rook takes, rook f2. There's no queen e4 there. Queen takes that bishop's pinned. Let's see, knight g1, rook f2. Um, yeah, this looks fairly okay, I believe. Looks looks fairly okay so far. Um, uh, okay, um, If I take on e5 and then this knight's pinned, I think I'd like to take on f3 actually. I <laughs> have this idea that I don't know his light square bishop's very good. So I'll give him back the exchange. This might be crazy. Actually, I haven't, I haven't actually won the exchange yet to give it back. So maybe that's a bit silly. Okay. <laughs> That was pretty silly, probably pretty silly. What am I doing? <laughs> I'd say good hello to my friend Jason there, who's called Dan. I don't know, Jason I've known for years from Canada. I think he's a bit, I think he hasn't been taking his pills recently and has been creating lots of accounts on YouTube. Hi Dame, hi Dame. Dame, please, please take the pills, can, I, can you? Can you please take the pills and go away? Yeah, I don't know if, if I could block you, Dame. I would. I really would. Uh, I'll, I'll just say to my producer to uh, please block. I think he really needs to take his pills. Uh, this guy, he's been uh, creating lots of accounts to change some pixels on the screen. I think he's been let out of an asylum or something. Uh, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I have no idea. Maybe it's, it's time for him to be let out of an asylum. I don't know. Uh, but it's pretty strange behavior, I've got to say. <clears throat> uh, so I don't know if it's like holiday period for, for a mental asylum or not. But please, can you just go away, Dane? I'm, you're not my kind of favorite person on YouTube. Exactly. So Jason, you know, give it a rest. Yeah. Thanks very much. <clears throat> I'm so, I'm sorry that uh, interruption there, but yeah, I've got a, a super fan in Canada, but I, he's a bit 
I, I think I think he really needs to be on medication or something. Unfortunately. <clears throat> Uh, just wanted to clear the air there but you know he's, he spends the last like few weeks just I don't know creating loads of accounts on YouTube to pretend to be I don't know it's it's crazy it's crazy I, I don't know just some some people have got a bit a bit too much time uh, on their hands <clears throat> okay anyway Uh, I think this is going okay at the moment with Queen G2 coming. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, let's go on the three-minute auto pairing. If there's no immediate uh, thing. Okay, three minute once appearing. Uh, let's see, so A six and Bishop A seven. Maybe night G, maybe a hack attack. Uh, in fact, in this position, wait. I am playing an I am. Can this hack attack actually do anything here? Uh, I'll play it anyway. He won't be expecting this this sort of ridiculous idea. But it's a three minute game. I'm thinking it's a three minute game. So this might be interesting, just to cause some actual practical problems. He's not actually taking this anyway. Okay. So he's not that keen to give me an H file in a three minute game. Uh, <clears throat> um, I just, I don't know. Um, there are some people. I, I, sorry, I don't want. I don't want to take it away from the chess. I, I don't want to take it away from the chess. I really don't. Let's not get into that conversation. Let's not get into that conversation. Okay. <clears throat> Check. Check. Okay. So King B A and Rook H four. Uh, or knight a7. Okay, my king is under siege here. Oh dear, my king is under siege. Okay. This is not probably the best king safety ever to have. I don't even know. Does d5 actually help the situation or just make it a whole load worse? <clears throat> okay. Um, queen d6. All right, so let's see. Can I take on e4? This, this fixes that pawn to that diagonal is not totally lethal yet. Well, I think I'm going down here fundamentally. I've got a funny feeling about this. Yeah, bishop c4 is coming. Yeah, that doesn't help at all to have allowed that. 
I don't think there's going to be much of a fence. I can at least try and stop it immediately. <clears throat> now rook b7 yeah this looks as though I'm going to get killed here okay knight c6 to evict the rook immediately maybe knight b4 just to try and stop the, the two rooks going up here he's just going to take that apart rook b6 there's bishop c4 I don't think knight a5 helps Knight a5, don't think it helps. Knight b4 probably doesn't help either. Rook b8 seems plausible, maybe, in the circumstance. 25 seconds, I'm bound to lose on time here as well. I can't take that. I can't dare take on e4. Bishop c4 is coming. King a7. No, 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 no. Rook c7. Rook c7. Yeah, I think that's end of game there. That was a tough one. Very tough one. There's Metanov. There's Metanov. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, okay, we've had this kind of thing before. Can I risk taking the bishop outside of the pawn chain? Check. Okay, is he going to somehow target c6 even more soon? Yep. Uh, I'll try and protect it here. So maybe knight g6, h6, bishop b4 check. <clears throat> oh, so h6. And uh, bishop e3, bishop b4, bishop e7 and castle. Okay, can I play for c5? Right, so c5, c4, looks like a reasonable position so far. d4, bishop f4, there's d3 there, winning a piece. This looks pretty good here. Um, I think maybe this actually Bishop d3 looks interesting d4 looks plausible except that it gives that c4 square Okay, so maybe bishop d3, knight h4 to f5 is reasonable. Alright, so bishop d3, I want to move up, maneuver a knight to f5. I, I think that would be nice. Let's see, so knight h4 to f5. It seems a little bit tied up with his rooks. Uh, okay, 
Okay. Can I actually double here and get away with doubling the rooks? Just to put some more pressure on B2. With that bishop cutting through to b1, it looks quite dangerous just to double on b2 here. Doesn't look as though it's uh, that easy to defend there. Night before, I think I'll snap that off. My back row doesn't seem to be too bad at the moment. There's an escape square. Okay, uh, leave this bishop on or not. Mm, I, I think I'm tempted to snap this pawn off. Even if he takes, I'll be threatening d4 for rook d2 then. So if he takes, takes, I'm threatening d4 there. Oh, was that a piece he's just given me? Okay, that looks like a piece without me getting back romated. That's good news usually. Uh, right, so let's see. Uh, g2 is scrutinized here. Rook d3, rook g2. Maybe rook d2, I just take an ambition a3 simply. g3, knight f3. Looks very good. Um, okay, I'll put that on hold. Unless there's something stronger here. Well, the knight's actually protected. Why can't I just protect this pawn, actually? The knight's protected. Uh, so let's see. G, G3, knight f5. Okay, or bishop c5. Uh, or bishop a3, maybe just bishop a3. Let him take that pawn and simplify. Okay, I shouldn't mind simplifying here. Check. Okay, so knight f5. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think this is uh, should be stable enough for a moment with h5 to so make sure the knight's perched quite happily on f5. Uh, so can I have that position with that nice knight on f5? Nope. Okay, go to d5 instead. Then maybe bishop e3 to try and, yeah, undermine. Okay, it's king's coming to the rescue. That's good. Good play. Uh, in, in circumstance, If he can just get rid of all the pawns, I think he'll be okay. Um, let's try and get rid of his pawns without actually losing h6 that easily. Let's go for this structure, this e5 yeah. pawn. Okay, can I hold on to that with king g6? I don't want to lose too many pawns. Okay, thanks for the game, uh, Zmetanov. Uh, okay, let's have a three minute auto pairing. Okay, uh, three minute auto pairing. Jim ZY. Okay, so this is sometimes fun. Sometimes I. I have a good position from this. Sort of attack. Queen g6 threatened. And sometimes they just don't see this. I, I don't know, I've had this before. Check. Now, bishop a3 looks dangerous. If I ever got bishop a3. Check. Then there's rook c1. And this is better. Uh, there's queen a5 there picking up the bishop. So. So. 
So I'll take the exchange okay. straight off the bat. Play for rook c8. There's knight c6. It's not so easy. It's not so easy. Oh, I'm going to lose the exchange if I'm not careful. To knight d3. Possibly I want to play something like queen f5. Okay, at least these pieces are holding each other. Let's see, f4 for, let's see, knight g6, e5, just to lock the bishop out and try and win d3 after, because I'll be on d3 after. Uh, that is a plan, there's knight d4 though. If I play rook g1, or rook h7, maybe rook h7. Knight d4. What would I do to knight d4? Maybe queen g4. And if the bishop moves, there's rook f7 there. If he's not careful. That's queen c8 in this position. Queen e8, it's not doing too much. Not yet. Does it? Does he play rook d8? Let, let me just check, check here. What does he do? Check the check. Okay. I'll go immediately for g7 now. Again, it's sort of tempo there. Actually. Uh, and if I go for rook f5 now, try and probe that f7. Can I pin this guy? Well, it's not really pinned. Um, it's not really pinned. Now, rook h7 for taking, for taking on d4 after. So takes, takes, takes. Let's go for that. Check. Check. Tactical liability, that knight on d4. Thanks for the game, Jim Z, on the uh, three minute auto pairing. Let's have another on the three minute auto pairing. There's no immediate challenge yet. I play this crazy gambit as well. I've got addictions to really bad openings for <laughs> blitz at the moment. <clears throat> because I don't know, there's something about them which needs. <laughs> There's <laughs> something lost about them, which I find attractive. <laughs> something entirely lost about them. Uh, I don't know why I find this attractive in some, for, for, for Blitz. This kind of weird gambit. Okay, I, I can't I find it difficult to explain. For, for a three minute or a bullet time control, this might be in some way uh, uh, dangerous, it seems. Uh, not always. Sometimes uh, g5 and queen h5 looks dangerous. I hope there's no queen d4. I'm hoping to just exert pressure on it's like a exerting pressure on f3 and h2. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this for a, a one day game, it just, just for a bullet or a three minute game. It might be a bit of fun here to be had. So let's see, rook f8 is pretty dangerous. h3 looks pretty dangerous for h2. Okay, I'll take that to gain some time for h3, h2. And if king g2, queen h3 is mate. So I think h3 is extremely dangerous here. There's no queen d4. Now with bishop h1, h2 check, king g2, queen h3. This looks as though it could be over 
in fact this could be over from a ridiculous opening I know Check. I know it's a ridiculous opening <clears throat> okay got that one okay but yeah I wouldn't recommend the opening too much outside of particular speedy contexts okay <clears throat> tot off although this knight c6 is a bit of a surprise weapon as well but going into sort of classical territory Now if he takes, I think there's uh, bishop f2 at the moment in queen d4. I've got to protect it now, I think, at some point. And let's put this bishop. Actually, he's going to win e5. He's going to win e5. I'll prepare for his attack on e5 a little bit uh, for f6 maybe so knight c4 f6 well, this f6 is going to be handy probably weakening the light squares but he hasn't got a light square bishop to tap into all my light squares immediately so I don't think that's a major immediate issue the light squares um, All right, bishop e7, knight c5 to e6. That looks like a plan. Knight c5 to e6, and then maybe bishop d4. Provoking c3, the bishop drops back. If I provoke c3, is that handy or not? So bishop d4. If I take now, I'm hoping he's overextending a little bit, otherwise, it looks like a really impressive pawn center here. d5, knight c5. Uh, his bishop's lurking there as a killer bishop. Hmm, can I do this defensive looking move for a moment? That bishop <laughs> could be dangerous. Let's not think about it too much. All right. Mm, not sure. Not sure how to cope with his impending central pawn mobility, or his pawn mobility rather. He's burning a bit of time on the clock here, though. Uh oh, trouble, trouble, trouble. Okay, can I play for b4? Try and lock down that bishop here. There's knight c6. Okay, this is trouble zone. There's knight c6 on the cards. And there's e5. His pawn mobility has increased. Um, I'm going to be losing the exchange or something. There's e5 on the cards. How quickly do I get mashed here after e5? Quite quickly, super quickly. Um, e5 looks mashing, unfortunately. Okay, I'll play this check while I can. Or uh, maybe g g5, bishop g6. Try and counter in the center with some pressure and it protects f6 anyway. Surprised he didn't play e5 when he had the chance. Okay, let's lock down there. Okay, I'm not dead yet, it seems. Although knight c6 with a vengeance. Okay, ah. Uh, <laughs> Knight d6, uh, struggling for a plan, struggling for a plan. Okay, 
if I take on C4, A5, A4 maybe. A3, try and get this bishop off that diagonal. Alright, let's try and just activate something on the A file here. Now he's locked down my pieces quite successfully here. Gigantic knight on c6. And still e5 is <laughs> torturing me with this possibility of e5. He's not playing it immediately. I've just given up uh, the c5 pawn. Uh, let's put that back. He's not playing for e5 yet. Go on. Just, I'm going to take this knight off. One way or another, I'm taking this knight off. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Right, he's only got one second. Can I actually survive this? Um, I'm hoping. Check. <laughs> this is pushing me to the limits. Blimey, <laughs> it's just e5 at any point. Come on. E5 at any point, central pawn is it surely is just opening up his pieces. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, let's play with this quick. This knight e5 idea is a pet idea recently. But I also saw it in a Magnus Carlsen game, which added further weight to the concept for me. Uh, there was a Magnus Carlsen game recently in the Isle of Man with a nice knight on e5, one of the games. Uh, okay, he's going to have that massive e4 square, isn't he? Yes. Okay, there's knight g3. It's not over yet. Just because knight e4, there's knight g3. Okay, yes, he didn't have knight d2 because queen h7. Okay, it's a bit anti positional for sure. What I've done. Yes, this is, looks anti positional. Um, what about rook h5 to e5? And we'll snag um, this pawn, snag this pawn. Okay. F6. F6, honey. I might have been at some point. C2 is kind of shielding my king a little bit. Does he play bishop g5? Probably plays bishop g5. I want to play f6, bishop f6, g5, queen g6, rook g3. But he plays bishop g5. Oh, he's let me. Well, isn't that h4? Alright, I've pushed them back a little bit, but does it actually uh, do anything here? Is H five any good? H five Queen G four H five Queen E eight H five Queen E eight and C I've got him worried in some respect. He can't get to my king that easily. His pawns seem to be inhibiting his counter attack against my king directly. Can I do anything with this.
Mm hmm. Okay. So I need that exchange. Kind of weakens me a bit, that exchange. I think I'll go here. If he plays queen h4, queen e6 to pick up the bishop. Well, it has got queen e1 potentially on the cards for taking this bishop and queening that pawn. If king h7 is queen g6, they have queen g7. If king h8, well, I'll be on f8 anyway. Okay, this puts him under a bit of pressure, this move, rather than rook f8. Right, just trying to queen his pawn. Um, if I take on f8, then he takes with the bishop. Now I'm ready for bishop a3. Right. Rook F two. Mm, how do I keep some pressure going? That's the question. What about Rook C two for Rook C eight? I missed Rook C two. Is it too late? I'll play it here. Check. I don't want to lose the queen to rook g3. Um, check. There's a check here, hold on. That could be a crucial check to have. Check. Okay, I could take Check. 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 Time warning. Check. Check. Actually, I'm not sure why I did that one. That was just pathetic. Uh, no, that that was just total dumb panic, blind panic. Ah, oh, I didn't need to do that one. Oh, blind panic in the end. Oh. Okay, that was that was panicky. Ah. Oh. <sighs> After all that, a mm, bit of drama. Okay, um, <clears throat> f5, I'm giving him the d5 square here. Alright, so f4 for maybe knight d4 later. Takes the d5 here. Yeah. yeah, there is. That's a bit of a snag, isn't it? It's taking the rook. Um, yes, small snag, snag there. Okay. Um, Hmm. Okay. That's a three minute water pairing. Okay, Kippy. Try to tame the Enchanto system. Uh, system. I'll 
click here. Tame butt has got some potential, it's like a reverse King's Engine, sort of. Oh, D3 seems like a major liability. Um, it's on. Oh, he's got Bishop C4. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh, uh, there's no point playing on. I, 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 <laughs> there's just at the moment a doorbell. I was thinking doorbell. Who's ringing the doorbell? <laughs> uh, can't can't be can't be having a doorbell playing a GM on a three minute game. Uh Back to back to focus, <laughs> but anyway, he, the, there was pressure. There was pressure. I I just slipped there, Sl dancing on ice. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, this is this is dancing on ice on the free minute water pairing yet, and I fell over. And I'm playing an, a much easier opponent now, only two four nine seven. <laughs> only an IM. Okay, so let's see. I I will not do the Finchetto twice. Let's try and keep some variety. And then we have a kind of reverse. French defense. I hope this is a reasonable position. This looks reasonably stable position as stable positions go. Although knight g4 looks remarkably <laughs> Remarkably embarrassing, knight knight g four. Why didn't I think of knight? D that that really does seem good here. Uh, okay, I end up losing the exchange. Okay, maybe it's not the end of the world. Could plan a little bit. Though it it doesn't seem that promising, I've got to say. And now I've just blundered a piece. I'm playing so well now. I'm playing so well. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <sighs> I, I I thought h4. I'm playing h4 too quickly. I usually I think I usually play h3 actually. Losing the exchange is not not hot against someone like that. It's not not the greatest. Okay. <laughs> um. So fire tiger. Uh, that looks like a, actually a good move, unfortunately. Uh, if I'm going to get any play or not, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. I'm about to be mated with Knight F7 now. Yeah, okay. I I got to somehow. I got to have a combination of an easier opponents. And more focus. I think that combination is going to really help. More focus and maybe a more stable opening. Uh, one which isn't totally unsound. 
Right, I have played this before, even though it might be a little bit unsound. I've seen the game pattern before, I bet. <clears throat> All right. It gives back a piece immediately. That's interesting. I seem to have a reasonable position here. I hope I have a reasonable position here to play from. <clears throat> okay, so bishop a6, I think this is reasonable. Queen a7, can I do better? Now rook, rook d1, not rook d1 check. Rook d8, queen a6, bishop a6. What about this bishop a6, queen a7? It's better to have that position with the self pin than I'd have rook b2, queen d2. Yeah, I think I'll keep that pawn. Even though it's a self pin, I think rook b2 for queen d2. Okay, rook d8, rook b2, rook d2. Is f5 danger? Maybe g6 just for a moment, just in case. Right, rook b2 here looks handy. Can I just get two pigs on the seventh with rook dd2? This looks like the best position I've had in the last three games. Except he's got g2 covered. There's queen a4 as well. Is there anything really wrong with queen a4? Mm, it does give rook d1 actually. Rook d1. He has to sort out his back row. Okay, I'm down a minute. This is the problem with this game. Down a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, get the queens off or something. Now he takes the. He's going to have a perpetual on my dark squares. Um, can I stop that? Check. Okay. Um. Maybe Queen D eight. Queen D eight. Thirty six seconds though. Queen D eight. Thirty six seconds. That's good for Queen H four. Get the queens off. Bring the king up. Right, rook d five, king c five. Okay. Check. Is it just? Is there a zugzwang here? Uh, possibly not. <laughs> Possibly not. At least I, I stopped the bleeding. That's good to stop the bleeding <laughs> for a moment because these IMs and GMs are pretty good. Okay. Uh, that that is a tactical opening. I have played that before. That night sack in that opening. It's I think it's fairly well known. Um, uh, okay. <clears throat> All right, 
So let's see, uh, three minute multiplying again. Hmm. Murple Murple is uh doesn't actually doesn't say his name. Okay. V's so's in. looks okay so far I believe mm -hmm. uh -huh. which way to take I'll take with the pawn actually and the c4 after it gives me some undermining potential There's knight c6, bishop c6, queen e6, craft someone, queen d6, snag a pawn by force. Is that really winning a pawn? Seems to be. And a unique. Oh, there's queen e8. What about knight g6? There's rook f6. C5. Okay, I better not take too long about this. Um maybe c c5 is is an idea. Let's try C5. This might have a benefit of take, take, take. Bishop moves, Bishop C4. He's got Bishop D5. Okay, I need to think about this. Um, ah. Okay. Well, there is bishop c4 here now. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I don't want to get too far down on the clock. Uh, is he going into this sort of pin situation? That looks good, that dark sky bishop for a moment here. If my center's collapsing, that's another matter. Um, okay, can I do this for bishop e6? Little tactic there. Get the queens off. All right, unfortunately. Okay, how's this ending? It's a pawn up. Check. And uh, I have a funny feeling <laughs> this, is, this might be a, a draw, unfortunately. Uh, uh, <clears throat> unless I'm being zugs wanked. I've just, just lost to King F4, haven't I? I've actually, I've actually just lost there. Okay. I think I've lost actually. Uh, no, I have lost. This this is too slow. I <laughs> I've just lost. Uh, let's see how easy. Okay. This is king. King's a little bit far. I doubt it. Um. I doubt it. Yeah. Yep. I that was uh, that was epic. <laughs> okay. Uh being challenged here for Neil Bree Neil Bruce. 
Nail Bruce. <laughs> uh. Yes, that was that was do actually dodgy. That King of Pawn thing. Uh, I was being zog zwanged. Well, the way I played it um, immediately. Hmm. Right, so bishop d7, queen c8. Okay, this is I've had this sort of thing before. It was quite fun to have a F four square. The bishops come off. I mean taking is probably dangerous. This is probably dangerous knight you four here. Four, knight g4. Check. <clears throat> Can I actually just take on, or will I get dismantled? Will I probably get dismantled on e5 here if I took this? Hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll see. Is he taking that? To take that? Can I just pin the knight? In fact, I don't know if that's worth it. That h file for knight e five. That looks as though that could be bad news. Uh, hold on to that. I'll take and take. <clears throat> D seven, Queen D eight. Let's get this knight back. Knight f7, rook c6. Um. Hmm, knight f7, rook c6, okay. Uh, for a moment. Can't take Queenie Six. Sky. I think Rook C seven looks plausible. We'll play many thanks. Uh, okay, uh, you let me off playing on the three minute water bag. <laughs> I'm getting a, a murder tonight. No, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. No, it's good. The three minute water pairing. Yeah. So uh, okay, let's try again. Three minute water pairing. Uh, Duda Eljanov. Brilliancy. Someone mentioned that. <clears throat> All right. So um, a three minute. Try a three minute game here. 
from that one's pine. Hmm. Or a fiber net. Maybe there is time for a fiber net. Uh, um, let's just try this. And hold the center. I'm not sure really. Uh, uh, um, what to do here? Is there an easy plan? I seem to be losing e5. You can just take, take on e5. I'm just going to plump my bishop. Hmm. All right, just take on e5. Please take on e5. No? I'm surprised by that. I thought you just take on e5. Okay, here I've got bishop b1. I've got a plan. Potentially. Bishop b1 or not? Can I do that? At least my bishop is doing something. I was a bit concerned that it wasn't going to be doing anything uh, for a moment there. <clears throat> I'll try and dismantle this f4. Or weaken this pawn chain a bit. We can pawn chain a bit. Can I not just take on g6 actually? Because now take on g5. What well, is this bishop h6? Maybe better here. g4, knight d4, maybe better. And there's Queen E4, Queen A8 on the cards. It seems to be getting a reasonable. I thought I might be getting a reasonable position. Queen A8 taking on A6. Let's see, King E7 coming up. I'll take on G4 here. Right, and go back here. Mm, how is this ending? I don't particularly want to lose another end game. Uh, let's keep the queens on just in case. Uh, <clears throat> Well, yeah, okay, okay. Um, I don't know. I haven't got much to play with. I haven't got it's a minute each. Let's let's move on then. If if I had a clear advantage, it would be a different story. It's very tough. It's been very tough. I'll take the draw. <laughs> I, I just can't see any. I can't see a way of getting any advantage there. Uh. Okay, so I've actually I've seen Fisher play this in a game I checked out recently. 
No, not exactly this, but for, for e5, to, he took on c4, and he played a quick e5, and I was just curious about it. In this position, knight d5 and c7 is a problem. I don't think I can emulate that here. What about just, is b6 an altogether safer idea? If any d5, maybe knight a5 or knight e7. Right, I'm going to pin, unpin, ready to unpin. Okay, knight a5, I'm going to end up losing a pawn. I'm going to be losing a pawn. Nearly. I'm under pressure. Okay. Is knight d5 punishable? I'm hoping I'm not getting blown away with anything. Hmm. All right, this might mean b5 is good news actually because I'll be holding that knight. b5 seems plausible here. Knight weakens that c5 square. Oh, he's got knight d6 on the cards. What about b4? He's still got knight d6 on the cards. Well, there's rook c7. Maybe b4 after. Is that so bad? Uh huh. All right, <laughs> that's holding that. That's holding that. I don't think I'm losing a piece just yet. I'm I'm getting on the brink, though, of losing a piece. Uh, bishop takes e5. I'm hoping this is okay. Uh, he's going to have knight c4 soon. Um, maybe not. Maybe knight c4, rook c5, knight e5. Um, knight c4. That's another way of doing it, but I'm hitting the rook. Actually, let's see, what is he doing here? Um, Well, I'll take in a knight c3. Now, if queen before there's knight e2, I think there's a5 to hold on to the pawn. Okay, okay, yep, yep. Now queen d5 here looks central and holding the rook. Yep. I can actually tease him with a mate threat. That might be worth a punt actually, Let's see what he does. Two, forcing move at least. Just to try and keep the pawn, uh, or maybe take a pawn. Maybe take a pawn. Yep, can I take a pawn? Uh huh. I'm 
not threatening anything. I can't see it. So I'll play a2, queen b4, queen. Now he is threatening something. A double check, nasty double check. Time warning. He's getting out of the way of that. All right, okay. Uh, we'll end with maybe one or two uh, bullet games. Thanks, Zoggy. Um, one or two bullet games. All right, 96 looks like something here yeah. for an advantage. Uh, and Bishop G5. Okay. Check. Well, actually, knight. Oh no, he had knight c five. Otherwise, there was e seven. But this looks comfortable enough with um, knight f six or rook f six. My back row is the only concern. I'll sort out the back row. Um, Check. All right, it's threatening mates, so I'm going to be careful about that. Can I play rook f8, and then takes and then e7? Time warning. Let's, let's just move actually, let's do a simple move instead. Instead of trying to calculate that, check. Check me. Yeah, I was trying to calculate something there. I don't think it's probably not worth it. But one more bullet game for the road. Um, I think. Oh, oh, <laughs> hang on. Yeah, okay, this is the last game. Last game. Uh, play this last game. Uh, it's Greenfield. I know nothing much about. Great with knight c6. <clears throat> sort of resembles a Greenfield. At least. Um, okay. It looks like a reasonable position so far. Okay, can I not take that? Okay, th there's pressure here. If I Mm, let him have no. Let's not. Let's have queen d4 and f5 instead of queen e4. Queen e4. Right. Um. Time warning. The king up here on the dark squares. Right now, what can I do on the dark squares? Let's think for a moment. What do I do on the dark squares? Um, try and lose a king and pawn ending. No, that that was that was okay. that was not that was not a good idea actually in retrospect. So I might have might be drawing it anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Thanks coming and uh, great drama this week. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. And thanks, for my co-producer. Uh, we're ending here. I think we're ending here.
Yeah. Um, all right. Have a good weekend. And uh, see you next time. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that bit. Uh, there's some heavy going on the three minute water bearing IMs and GMs. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Thanks very much.